Now, one of the things that I also did with my wife, uh, with Shauna, was that whenever I would be pulling up to a place, I would call her on my cell phone. So I always keep my cell phone charged and handy. Here it is. And I'd call her and say, hey, babe, pulling up about three minutes before I get into, uh, you know, turn on to their drive, because usually it's rural stuff. So uh, three minutes before I turn on to the drive, uh, you know, this is the address where it is and everything. Uh, call me in, call me in 20 minutes. Love you. Bye. Click hang up. I'd get up there, talk to the guy and everything, get a feel for him, whether or not it's good or bad. I'm not saying I'm a hell of a person that reads people, but I have a good idea of what's going on with people. And, you know, if the yard was all nasty and hinky and, you know, shit piled up everywhere, you know, grass knee high, then, then you start thinking, huh. So, my wife will call me and then I will tell her something. I would say like, uh, hey, sweetie, no, no, just, just doing this, just pulled up and everything. Uh, it, it's all good and uh, I, I'll talk to you in a little bit. And in that brief conversation I would have, I will have given her two codes, two code words that I'm okay or I'm not okay and I'm pretending to be okay and call back in 15, 20 minutes. And, I, and then I would laughingly talk to the guys, whoever it was, or the lady, and, and I'm doing this for their protection as well, and I would say, you know, she worries about me, so you, you know how it is. And, and, and if it was an older man, he'd say, oh yeah, my wife does the same thing, won't let me out of her sight, because you know, she's worried about my blood pressure or whatever. And I'd say, yeah, that's the way it is, and we go look at the stuff, talk about everything, he haul a little bit, and load the equipment up, be on my merry way. Now, that leaves us with uh, another thing. How are you gonna pay the guy? So, more cut. Okay guys, now we're back. And let's say we're buying a bush hog from Randy. I can't remember the price. Did I say $150? Let's say $150. And uh, so what I've done, I've gone by the bank and I've pulled out or gotten money out $150 and then I'll get $40 more because 60 or 70 percent of the time they're they're gonna be there they're talking to you they're wanting to sell some stuff they got a couple of more things that you might be interested in getting but you got to be aware of that stuff because that could just be somebody wanting to see how much more cash you have on you so I carry $40 more so if it's $150 I'm carrying $190 in a hundred dollar bill, two twenties, a ten to make the hundred and fifty, and then two more twenties, and that uh, and that is all for a reason, uh, because if you want to negotiate and everything, you take out one of the tens, you put in one of the twenties, or vice versa. Um, you throw some fives in there if you want to, and everything. But I'm keeping the uh, risk to myself at a minimum wallet, my wallet, a bunch of credit cards and all that stuff, crammed down in between a seat somewhere in my vehicle. I don't get out, I don't carry a wallet, I carry cash in my front left pocket and then I'll carry a small gun in my front right pocket. That's the way I've always done it and, and that's just the way, you know, not saying I'm a cowboy, I'm a hell of a guy or anything like that. I'm an old guy, it's almost 50 years old, grandkids and a bad knee. I'm not. A cowboy but that's what I do um, just to be on the safe side so it's always what you want to be aware look around don't be distracted don't let them pull you into a building or something like that where you can't uh, have a point of egress um, to where uh, it might put you at a disadvantage let's say that and I've gone to some hairy nasty places uh, and done business with some strange people. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. And, and again, uh, this video is running long, so it's probably going to be broken into two parts. And this is just for going and buying stuff. This isn't, this isn't for selling stuff from your property. One thing I want to also mention to you, when you pull up in that property and everything, a lot of times I'll pull my phone out. And, and I know this 
you might think, oh, he's a paranoid ass son of a bitch. Well, maybe so, but, you know, Craigslist killer hadn't given me. But, as you pull up, pull your phone up, take a picture of their vehicle uh, with a tag number. Send that to your wife or your girlfriend or your mom or whomever. Uh, whoever it is that worries about you at night and wants you to be safe, send that to them. That way there's a record and, and a way to track it and, and everything. And, and that is doubly so whenever you're, you're selling stuff and people come onto your property. But that's going to be a whole other video. We're going to do that completely different. But it's just be aware, be conscious. Let somebody know where you're going. Always have a plan. You don't want to be one of these horror stories that you read about on Facebook or you see on the news in the mornings. It's not what it's about. It's more to come. So, to sum all of this up, and I know, like I said, this is probably going to be a two-part video. I have bought and sold goats, uh, tractors, mobile homes, trailers, uh, garden tractors, riding mowers, uh, push mowers, welders. I, I, I'm trying to just, just be as, as, as broad as I can. Dogs, um, anything you can think of. Boats, boat motors, all kinds of stuff. Sea dews uh, off of Craigslist. And I've met some wonderful, wonderful people, and really nice people. And I talked to them, uh, like the people uh, that I sold uh, puppies to, uh, Murray's puppies. Um, gosh, we get Christmas cards from these people. They're not crazy. They're not terrible. Uh, most everybody's just want to buy the crap that you have for sale and get the hell on to their house so they can do something with it. That's it. Then you get the weird ones. Those, you gotta be careful on. Now, in the video that we will do later on how to sell from your house safely, I'll go into detail and tell you some stories that were creepy, made the hair on my neck stand up, and I made sure to let them know that it would be it would not be advantageous uh, for them to do anything illegal on my property because it would just be, well let's just say it had been a bad day for them um, without doing any kind of macho threats or anything like that. But that's it for me guys. This is just, uh, I, like I said, I, I talked to uh, Dark Knight and uh, he said you really ought to do the, the the video and I thought well you know I did say I was gonna do it like three week, three or four weeks ago uh, there's so much crap going on uh, here at the property um, I, I'm trying to get everything I, I'm gonna have to incorporate how about that because of the IRS that's another freaking video in and of itself yes the IRS loves Murray Mayhem go freaking figure but anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing as always, y'all gonna make some mayhem, but get it safe. Y'all be careful. Uh, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, nobody wants to wake up naked and dead. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.